So when I was a child, my mother told me that she used to wheel me in the pram underneath a canopy of trees so that I could look up and see the movement in the branches and hear the sound of the trees. And really that was perhaps my first introduction to trees um, and planted the first tree in my heart. And since then through my life, I've been so privileged to plant so many more trees in my heart. The apple tree that we used to climb in our garden and uh, throw down apples from, the um, swinging tree, as we called it, where we used to be put up on a branch and bounced up and down. And so when I had my own children, I wanted to find trees that would be in their hearts. And this is one of them. And it's very sad that this branch has now fallen off as well. But it used to be that you'd walk up here to this beautiful tree and then you'd come round the corner. And if you come round the corner, you can see how this tree, for all its beauty, is broken. And when you come to this side, you can see how the tree, I don't know how it's happened. Was it struck by lightning or was it eaten out? I've no idea. But you can see that the tree has been really damaged and yet it's still growing. And the new growth is years and years old and hasn't killed the tree. And for my family, this became a, a really poignant place to remember people who had died within the family. So whenever I come up here, uh, I used to do it with the children and I always do it myself. I just pick a couple of things, one for my mum, one for my dad, and I place them in the tree. And life is full of sadnesses and deaths and change that's difficult, and yet certain things stay strong. Even when a branch has come down this autumn, it's the first time I've been up here since last autumn, and yet more of the tree has been taken away, but not the growth, not the life. It's alive with colour still. So here are the beech nuts and I'm giving them a new home and hoping that they will grow into little seedlings next spring. So why don't you do the same? Go and collect something from your favourite tree, plant it and let someone else enjoy this experience of having a tree in their heart. <laughs>